Well, our final award, and it's last but certainly not least of the night, goes to Etsani Diaz Ocampo, who is a BSN graduate 2018. And the Alumni Association is proud to present the Rising Star Award to Etsani this evening. The Rising Star Award was established to recognize recent graduates of our baccalaureate program within the last five years. And these recipients have demonstrated achievement in nursing, have identified, have been identified for their potential for the future contribution to the nursing profession and are also supportive of the College of Nursing. Let's hear about Etsani from her nominator, Hannah Harmon. Hi everyone, my name is Hannah and I have the absolute honor of introducing you to this year's recipient of the Rising Star Award, Etsy Diaz Ocampo. Etsy was born on September 4th, 1993 in Zacatepec, Morelos in Mexico. She was her parents' firstborn child whom they were delighted with and who they would do anything for. So when she started having significant health problems around six months of age, her parents knew that staying in Mexico was no longer an option. She needed access to better medical care for what would potentially be a lifelong struggle with asthma. So when Etsy was only six months old, her parents left their sweet baby girl and everybody they loved behind as they set off to try to quickly establish a new life in the United States so that Etsy could join them a few months later. Etsy attributes some of her desire to become a nurse to her parents' relentless pursuit of better health care for their daughter and the many sacrifices that were made in order to achieve that goal. But even more impactful on Etsy's decision to become a nurse were the countless hours she spent with at, as a 14-year-old girl at the bedside of her younger sister, who was diagnosed with a rare childhood disease at the age of 11. DNA ended up losing her battle with this disease over the span of several months, and Etsy's life has never been the same since. She holds her sister close as she interacts with her patients and their families at the bedside every day, and recalls what it felt like to be truly cared for by the nurses caring for her sister and Etsy's entire family. DNA's spirit also lives on through Etsy's youngest child, affectionately named after her beloved sister. Knowing even just these few pieces of Etsy's story may help you understand her extraordinary gifts of compassion, presence, patience, love, tenderness, empathy, connection, authenticity, and humility. And I use the word extraordinary very intentionally. She's truly an extraordinary nurse and human being. After working hard to put herself through nursing school with a young child at home and another on the way, Etsy began her nursing career at UC Health in February of 2019. I had the privilege of being one of Etsy's main preceptors when she started on our unit as a new graduate nurse, and it has been my honor to actually be learning from her ever since. I may have helped her with the technical aspects of nursing, but she has helped me finesse the more humanistic pieces of nursing, which is what differentiates a good nurse from an extraordinary nurse. She has an incredible gift for connecting with even the most challenging of patients on our unit because she helps them feel a sense of peace and calm in her presence. Even in the midst of her busiest shifts, Etsy can frequently be found sitting at the bedside of a patient, calmly allowing that person to share pieces of who they are or concerns that are on their mind. She recognizes the humanity in every patient and their family member and is able to holistically care for each patient in ways that are so much deeper than just their physical illness. And patients are better because of it. The number of times that patients request to have Etsy back is truly humbling. One patient recently went so far as to say that Etsy must remain on our unit until all seven cycles of her chemotherapy are complete because she only wants Etsy to care for her. And I think that is a perfect example of why Etsy deserves the Rising Star Award. As a relatively new nurse, she has still mastered the ability to not only care for complex patients, but also to love them deeply throughout the process and to make them feel safe and heard and known in a way that no other nurse has been able to do for them. And Etsy's care extends beyond her patients and into her team as well. 
Her coworkers adore her, deeply respect her, and look up to her as an example of an extraordinary nurse, even if they've been a nurse much longer. She earns deep respect and love by first offering that depth of respect and love to everyone she encounters. When I asked some of her other coworkers to offer some words for tonight's introduction, here's what they said. Etsy's truly a one of a kind nurse. She's a patient advocate and brings a sense of security and comfort during an extremely vulnerable time. Seeing patients' faces light up when they get Etsy back is one of my favorite things. She is calm, compassionate, and caring. She pays attention to details. She always has a smile on her face and a can-do attitude. She's been so wonderful for our Spanish-speaking patients. They get better care because of her. Etsy has a presence that is so gentle, aware, and kind. It's been special for me getting to see her from her time as a student to being in, to, or inducted into sainthood as the winner of our unit's Patients of a Saint Award this year. Even as a nursing leader, I think we can all learn a thing or two from Etsy and the incredible human being she is. There's no one more deserving of this award than Etsy, and it's my honor to introduce her to you tonight. When she isn't nursing, she's enjoying time with her husband, her seven-year-old son and two-year-old daughter outside at a park or while daydreaming about a bucket list item of lying on the beaches in California. Her favorite dessert is strawberry cheesecake. Her favorite color is pink. And in between working and caring for her family, she somehow finds time to play three different instruments and share these gifts of music at her church when not scheduled to work. Her dream job is to become a pediatric oncology nurse. An inspirational quote that is found on a bracelet she wears in honor of her sister comes from Psalm 91. Whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. The Lord is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Etsy's faith has given her the strength she needs to face the most painful and difficult situations in her life with courage and the ability to turn her sorrow into a blessing for others. Etsy is a blessing to her patients to her family, to her coworkers, and to me. Please join me in welcoming this year's Rising Star Award recipient, Etsy Diaz Ocampo. Oh, wow, the future is bright. That's awesome. Etsy, would you like to share a few words with us? Yes, thank you. This is for Dine, my little sister. My calling to nursing began in August of 2006 when I heard you were being transferred to the children's hospital because you had been diagnosed with cancer. For the next two years, as I walked to your hospital room every day, I observed how the nursing staff would not only care for you, but for us, the whole family with compassion and love. After your biggest surgery at home, I had to learn how to set up your tube feeds and care for your trachea and G-tube. One day you stopped me, held my hand, and with your beautiful smile said, I know you will be an amazing oncology nurse. So my journey began. I expected you to be through the end of it, but God needed you in heaven. And even though I questioned and disagreed with his decision at that time, I now know and understand why. You were and continue to be my rock and my strength in my nursing career. Although you were three years younger than me, it still amazes me how mature you were. And I hope I'm making you proud each day I care for my patients, especially for those that speak Spanish. I knew the journey wouldn't be easy. As a dreamer, I didn't have the privilege of having financial aid during college because I was born in Mexico and moved here when I was one and a half. My parents, who I always say are the original dreamers, always pushed me to do my best in school. When I told them I wanted to be a nurse, they supported me 100%, even if that meant they would have to work extra to help me pay for college. I can't thank them enough for the way they raised me because not e being able to speak English, they still managed to give my sisters and I an education. As a senior in high school, I knew getting my nursing license was nearly impossible in this country because of the lack of legal status. I had made my decision to go back to Mexico 
and pursue my career there, leaving my lifelong dream of one day becoming an oncology nurse at Children's Hospital behind. But my high school counselor advised me to stay, saying anything is possible. Things can change in the next coming years. Who knows, maybe the government will pass the DREAM Act and you can become a nurse. When President Obama announced the Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals or DACA Relief Program, I saw that light at the end of the tunnel. Thanks to this program, I was able to apply to the Integrated Nursing Pathway at the Community College of Aurora and CU College of Nursing. Thanks to this program, I was able to graduate with my BSN, being the first in my family and make my dream come true as an oncology nurse. Every two years, I still fear that this program will end, ending my dreams. So I give my heart to be the nurse my sister wanted me to be. My mother became my free and trustworthy babysitter. My father became my moral and financial support. Without them, I wouldn't be here. My youngest sister became my other drive. Being the oldest, I wanted to set an example for her. I want to thank my wonderful husband and children for motivating me each day. I want to thank the Lord for gifting me with the knowledge, the patience, and empathy. To all my special patients who've touched my heart and who remind me of why I became a nurse. I want to thank my amazing CU College of Nursing instructors like Ms. Nino, Tammy Spencer, Dr. Connolly, Kathy Foss, and Sue Bonini for teaching me all I know about nursing. I also wanna thank my extraordinary preceptors and leadership from the University of Colorado Hospital 11th floor, Renee, Vale, Casey, Angie, and Hannah. I know I have much to learn, but with continued support and encouragement from people like them and you, I know I can accomplish much more. Hannah, I will forever remember this recognition. I appreciate all you have done in my professional growth. You have served as a great role model. And thank you, CU College of Nursing, Nursing Alumni Association for the honor of awarding me the Rising Star Award. <laughs>